Dropbox is a web-based file hosting service that enables you to, to access your files from any computer with an internet connection and easily share files with others in your team, even if they are on the other side of the world. The first thing you need to do to start using Dropbox is to create an account for yourself. Go to www.dropbox.com and click on Sign In, Create an Account. Enter your first name, last name, email address and a password. Make sure you remember your password. Once you have created an account, you can then sign in. Once you have signed in, you can manage your files and folders from your internet browser. As shown here, you'll see a list of files and folders in your Dropbox. This includes folders that you have created yourself and folders that others have shared with you. There are icons for uploading files, for creating new folders, sharing folders and even showing deleted files. Dropbox keeps track of changes for the last 30 days so you can restore older versions of files or even deleted files from within the last 30 days. There are two ways to upload files. One, click the upload icon. Click on choose files. Then select one or more files and click on save. The selected files will be uploaded to the current folder. You can move them between folders in the same way as you would move files in Windows Explorer by just dragging and dropping. The second method is just to drag and drop from Windows Explorer, effectively treating your Dropbox folder as another folder on your hard drive. Remember to hold down the control key if you want to copy rather than move the files. To share a folder, click the share a folder icon, which will give you the choice of creating and sharing a new folder or sharing an existing folder. After clicking next, enter the email addresses of those you want to share with. There is space for an optional invitation message. Finally, click on Share Folder. Each person will receive an invitation email with a link to follow. Choosing the sharing link in the menu on the left hand side allows you to see who is sharing each folder. Click on options to the right of the folder name to invite others to join and to view the current members list. The list will also show who the current owner of the folder is. The members list shows when each member accepted the share and whether there are any invitees who haven't yet responded. If you are the owner, you can remove people from the list or pass ownership to someone else. You can also choose to unshare the folder. When you share a folder, everyone you share with has full access, i.e. they can read the files, modify them and even delete them. Dropbox keeps a track of events in your shared folders such as who edited, added or deleted, which file in which folder and when. If you want to be able to share files with others without them being able to make changes, you can create links. In your Dropbox list, items that are linked will be marked with a chain link symbol. You can go to links in the menu and either copy the link location or paste it into a document or email, or email it directly using send link. This menu appears when you right click on the linked folder. All the facilities we have looked at so far can be done through the Dropbox website. If you install Dropbox, a folder will appear on your computer which will automatically sync with the web version of your Dropbox. You can use this folder like any other folder on your computer, the only difference being that this folder will be available to you from wherever you are, provided you have an internet connection. To install Dropbox, click on your account name and click install. And click the free download. Save the file to your hard disk and run it from there following the instructions as you would 
for any software installation. A free account allows you up to two gigabytes of storage space, but you can gain extra free space by referring your friends up to a total of 18 gigabytes. If you need more space, you could go for one of the payment schemes. For $10 a month, you could have up to 50 gigabytes and for $20, up to 100 gigabytes. These limits can also be increased with referrals. There's also a Dropbox for Teams, starting at one terabyte. But uh, click Learn More to, for further information on this. You can check your space by clicking on your account name. And as you see, I've used one gigabyte out of two and a half gigabytes. So to summarize, Dropbox is an easy to use and very popular file hosting service that gives you access to your files through the web. It enables easy sharing of files, both as full access shares or read-only links.